Hey, what's going on guys? Chad here with Greenlight Shooting and welcome to this new product review. So today we are talking about the S1 Mini Baton Flashlight made by Olight. Now uh, you can see by the size and the shape of this thing, it's obviously meant for everyday carry. It's meant to be put in your pocket, hooked to your keychain, whatever it is, to be uh, kind of forgotten about until it's needed. So it's a pretty awesome little light, I have to admit. Uh, first of all, dimensions and stuff like that. This thing is coming in just over two inches in length, so really, really manageable, and then one and a half ounces. So the thing doesn't weigh anything. Like I said, throw it in your pocket, about, throw it in your pocket, forget about it until you need it. It is waterproof, IPX8, I wanna say waterproof, and there are two different options to this light. So this one specifically is the HCRI version. There's also just a cool white LED version. So the cool white LED version uh, is a touch brighter at 600 lumens at its brightest, um, but it doesn't have as true of like color reproduction on objects. So I think it probably has like a green tint to it or something like that. Um, and then this one has a max output of 450 lumens, but uh, it has a much higher color reproduction. So it's like, if you're familiar with CRIs, this is a 90 CRI, that's a 70 CRI. So it's basically how true the light is in terms of re representing colors. Um, I don't know that that's really a huge issue with flashlights. I mean, it's obviously a huge issue if you're like in photography or video or something, you know, skin tones. But as far as flashlights, I don't know that it's a big deal. I might take the, uh, the higher lumens over the truer reproduction, but I just wanted to let you guys know that that's there. So they are both rechargeable. Uh, I can screw off this back cap here. And you'll see we've got an Olight branded rechargeable CR123 battery. Uh, this one is 3.7 volts, 650 milliamp hours. I think that's what MAH means. Um, but the interesting thing about this battery is if you can check that out, it's actually got a micro USB port. So that's how you're charging this thing. You just plug this directly into your cord or whatever, plug it into the wall and it charges. It's kind of odd. Um, I don't know, a lot of people like to just plug it in direct, like plug the flashlight in or something like that. It's kind of a complaint that you have to take out the battery, then plug it in and charge it. It's not a huge deal to me, even with the four seven ones and stuff like that, you know, they all have, you take out the battery and uh, throw it on a charger. So it's not a big deal to me. This is interesting, I've never seen it, but uh, I kind of like how it's, it's just a generic micro USB. You know, with a lot of the other lights, you have to have their proprietary charger. You know, you're out on vacation or something, you forgot your charger, your battery goes dead. You can just pop any micro USB in there, charge this bad boy up. So I think that's pretty cool. You can kind of see on the body here, there are like some grooves cut into it that I think are supposed to give you a little more of like an aggressive grip. Um, it, I don't see that personally. I have sweaty hands. This thing will slip out of my hands just as easily as a, if those grooves weren't there. There's a clip on it that does fold back on itself. So you can clip this into your pocket. You can also clip this up on your hat or something. If you're wearing, you know, a, a baseball cap or whatever, use it as a headlamp. This one functions with just a single button here on top that goes through all your cycles. There is a low, medium, high, turbo and a strobe. Um, I'm going to turn these lights off and I'll show you what those look like on this table here. Okay, so if I just turn this on, I believe that's medium, what I had it said to before. If I push this in and hold this button, it's going to start cycling. So you can see low, medium, high, low, medium, high. Now, if I double tap this button, it's going to go into turbo mode, which is a, a really high output. So one, two, and you can see it's super bright. Now, if I tap three times, one, two, three, I've got a strobe. So I'm gonna turn that off, whew, turn that back on, and uh, it'll remember what your last setting was out of the low, medium, high. So hold it down, low, medium, high, low, medium, high. Well, medium, I guess I wanna keep it a medium. If I turn this off, when I turn it back on, I should still be at medium. I also did a test with this thing while I was out at the park at night with my dog. There was a white fence in front of me about 15 yards away or so. Now if I hold this button down, I've got medium, high, low, medium, high, so that's high. I don't know if it's gonna focus because it's so dark out here. But if I double tap, that's giving me turbo mode there. So you can see, I mean, it's a pretty decent amount of light. The throw, can I hit that house? No, there's a house, maybe a football field away or so from me. Definitely can't see that. Uh, and then three will give me a strobe. So you can see how much throw you're actually getting in a, in a dark, outside environment. So to recap my review real quick, pros and cons. Pros is uh, the size and the form and the weight. I mean, it's super, super light. You throw it in your pocket, forget about it. In fact, I never showed a comparison 
But uh, here is a quick comparison against like a Burt's Bees uh, chapstick. So you can see really how small that flashlight is. Next thing is the durability. Olight makes a really good light. I'm not worried about putting this thing through its paces, putting this thing in a pocket with my keys jangling around and uh, you know, I know it's gonna pull it out and I know it's gonna work. The runtime on that battery, by the way, claims 55 minutes at high output um, and like 16, 15 days, I think, at the uh, low output. So. You know, a really solid output, 50, almost an hour at, at full output is, you know, pretty impressive out of a rechargeable battery. Again, that's 450 lumens. Um, I, I don't know that I'm going to count that in the Pro. It's not excessively bright, but out of a light like this, I carry an EDC flashlight with me every day. And what I find myself using these things for is like looking in crevices or something like some keys fell down in between my, my car seat and the center console. And I'm gonna turn this on, try and find them, that kind of a thing. You know, if I'm gonna go searching in the woods, someone's lost, I'm gonna have a proper searchlight with me. Um, that being said, having this thing on you at all times is super, super useful. 450 lumens though, I think is, I mean, it's plenty. Cons on this bad boy, really the only one I have is this button. You guys know I'm a 4.7s fan and I really like the twistability of the 4.7s mini ML lights. Um, this one with the, the button, it's just kind of awkward for me to get used to. Like, I don't know how to properly grip this out of my, out of my pocket. You like, you grab it like this on the sides or something and then, you know, you push this with your top or do you go this way and then, and then this way. Like it's, it's really, it's so small that it's, it's awkward to hold this thing. The thing I will say with this against 4.7s though, is it's one-handed operation. You know, you can grab this thing, turn it on all with one hand. 4.7s, you need two hands to twist. I'm not gonna talk down about this light. This is a really, really good, well-made, useful, durable light, and it's only 50 bucks. So for this quality of light, I think $50 is certainly a worthy investment. Spend it and this thing is gonna last you years and years in your pocket and you're gonna to get tons of use out of it. So $50 for this thing, check out the link. It is the top link down in the video description below. Uh, yeah, let me know your thoughts on this or on any other EDC flashlights. Let me know which one's your favorite. Uh, like I said, I'm a 4.7s fanboy, but this thing is quickly catching up. Olight makes a dang good light, I have to admit. So, anyways, that is the review. I hope you enjoyed it. If so, hit that thumbs up button, and uh, we'll see you next time on Greenlight Shooting.